the semiotic triangle of meaning. Here, I wanted to explore a bit of semiotics, which is the study of science. And I wanted to use semiotics as a framework to understand information and truth. And basically, I'm going to be covering the elements of the semiotic triangle. And there are th three main elements, the symbol, uh, which are also called the signifier or sign. So there, there's always going to be a bunch of different terms for the same thing. So symbol, signifier, or sign. Now that usually refers or signifies some thought or concept or also called the signified or interpretation. And I also like the term here. Oops. Um, sorry. Mental model. Mental model, that's kind of a popular term nowadays. And then this mental model can refer to some referent or some external object, event or process. So this is the, uh, the objective reality, if you will. And also the symbol can stand for or represent this objective reality, but notice that the line here is a little bit different than the other lines because this is a more indirect uh, standing for it's a more indirect reference because uh, within the human world that we're talking about here the symbol or the signifier has to go through the mental model so the symbol can refer to an objective reality but usually has to pass through this um, the intermediary interpretive stage so very simple example here, you see the set of symbols here, various letters with an exclamation point, this is a word in English. Uh, and we can think of this as, a, this as a sign or a symbol. And then someone sees the sign and symbol crisis, and then they think, oh my God, all the computers in the library are broken, we have a crisis. And that's the interpretation here. Of course, I'm using a picture because I can't put what's going on in somebody's brain. So I'll use a picture to stand for um, a mental model, but no, actually by crisis, we were talking about the whole city is inundated. The whole city is flooded. So the symbol can signify some model, some concept, some interpretation, but uh, these relations are not always exactly uh, a correct or true. And this is what we'll be talking a little bit more here about. Also note that these lines here of connections signifies and refers to, I don't see much of a difference to be honest. And I think other terms such as represents, corresponds, reflects, associates with works. So I use these different ones here. I've seen others use it, so I keep it, but I think it it works if you use some of these other terms here for the relations. I also call these relations. Uh, when we, so when we talk about information, bringing the concept of information here, sometimes people refer to this as information, just the symbol itself or the signs. Sometimes people think of this as the information, the mental model or the interpretation. Um, and of course, the referent or the external object is the actual thing in the world that is being represented. But as I was mentioning, the information is really the connection. It's really like here, right? It's the signification. It's these two together or the thought and the object or the symbol and the object. So let's do a brief exercise here. The following slide contains an image. Let's call it a symbol or a sign. Once the image appears on the screen, I want you to pause it and write down the first three words or terms that come into your mind. And I don't want you to name the thing, just I want you to, because the name is obvious, everybody's going to have the same name, but I want you to think of all the other ideas or concepts that come up when you think of this image. Okay, let's go. So you can pause here and I'm going to continue on. Take time to write it down. So for me, a number of ideas came up. Deliciousness, junk, fast meal, heart attack. 
So you can see how a specific symbol or sign can have many different concepts or interpretations related to it. Uh, and of course, this image here can stand for pretty much exactly what it is, a Big Mac that looks exactly identical with the fries and the soda and so on. Of course, this image here actually can stand for, or is supposed to stand for this, but the actual object in the world looks more like this. Or maybe this symbol here refers not just to delicious meal or a fast meal, but it actually refers to a heart attack because if you eat a lot of this, you might get a heart attack. And of course, this really also stands for um, fast consumer culture, uh, garbage culture, culture of uh, disposable items and um, all the kind of containers that we use once and then quickly throw in the garbage, which usually ends up you know, in the ocean or some landfill. This, I like to think of the uh, semiotics triangle because it helps us think about true information and valid or correct relations. So when we're thinking about true information as degree of valid relations. Now here, I'm not gonna explore this idea of degree very much, but everything is a matter of degree, right? So we can think of truth and true information as degree of valid relation. And you can think also of valid as, you know, like accurate or some other kind of term. A relation between symbol and thought or sign and signified or sign and mental concept. So this is the mental concept. So let's take uh, these symbols here. Global warming will likely lead to more intense hurricanes. And you can imagine more intense hurricanes. And then we have a true relation between sign and the mental model. Now, this may not always be true. So if you read these lines here, global warming will likely lead to more intense hurricanes. And you think of Pinocchio, we clearly have uh, a lack of a true relation. So lack of true relation, right? It doesn't doesn't match uh, between the, the, the symbols and then the mental concept. Now, the true relation can also be, be between the symbols themselves and the external object in the world. Now, usually, as we said, there's always a mental concept, but we can see that these symbols here, global warming will likely lead to more intense hurricanes, actually stand for all the consequence and the actual more intense hurricanes that are observed in objective real reality. And that's a valid relation. And then of course, on the other, to finish the triangle, we can have a mental model. Uh, once again, I'm just using a picture here. Uh, the mental model uh, can be, it would be much more complex. So we can understand in, in our minds that global temperatures are increasing and carbon dioxide are increasing. Uh, leading to, well, leading to higher global temperatures and based on one's understanding of uh, the impact that this can have on hurricanes and other natural processes, we can see how this mental model has a valid or accurate uh, correspondence with the external object. Now, notice that we can also have a symmetry in truth relations. So maybe there is uh, there's a statement out there, global warming will likely lead to more intense hurricanes. And this has a true relation to actually what happens uh, in, the, in the world. But depending on who is, is doing the interpretation, the, the thought of the mental model may not, may not be there, right? So the symbol actually stands for, correctly stands for some, the objective reality, but the mental model uh, by someone may not actually uh, be relating with the symbols well. So I like to break this down. I like to bring semiotics in here when we're talking about truth and information. And I hope this has clarified some uh, to you what we mean by information, what we mean by semiotics and symbols, mental models and objects in the real world. So here are some of the topics we covered. And that's it for this one. See you next time.